In this video, I'm going to show you first off how to get to the trailhead. I'll include links in the description box below so you know exactly which old trail to follow. Second, I'm going to show you a 60 minute clip of what the hike looks like. It was about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, it was a dry day, so as you can tell by the video, it is a lot like the desert. And third, I'm going to give you some hiking tips. So first off, once you get to the trailhead, parking is super easy. There's a parking lot there, super easy to access. You don't have to park in any residential area. It's super clear. You'll go just past the baseball field. Once you go past the baseball field, you'll see the dirt track. When you're going by it, the baseball field will be on your left-hand side, and then you'll go up that dirt track. It's very clearly marked from the parking area. You can essentially see the, the start of the trail. So first, a little bit about the hike. If you didn't already know, the hike has some old military bunkers at the very top. The hike itself is a super steep, kind of like a staircase actually. It has about a thousand steps. For this hike, I would definitely recommend giving yourself at least two to three hours, bring plenty of water, more than you think you'll need. I would also recommend doing this hike early in the morning. Do not do this hike in the afternoon or midday. It is way too hot and there is absolutely no shade. The trail itself is pretty cool. You'll also see some railroad tracks. So what those used to be, the railroad tracks helped the military bring cargo, supplies, or whatnot to the very top of that little area. The area also has some bunkers as well, some old military bunkers. So pretty cool if you're interested in that. There is some graffiti up there, really cool street art. One really, really good tip. There's a section of the trail that it's, the best way to explain is, is it's a bridge area that has about a 30 foot drop. If you're nervous about heights or scared of heights, anything like that, I would probably recommend skipping that portion. And to do that just before that portion begins, you'll see kind of like a veer off trail off to the side. Instead of going past that, you can actually just veer off to the side a little bit. You'll go a little bit longer of a route and then you'll just jump back on the trail where it's more level. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It helps other people find the video.